Hi, my name is Eric Beaumont. I'm the COO of Ventus. Today I want to introduce the new functionality that we put in Director 4.05, which is our multi-channel capability. So in order to show you this, we've built a relatively complex setup that we will be controlling from a single director seat. The idea is that we have here a very complex setup with many different machines, different content, different timings, all of it being controlled from one single control seat in our director software. So let's have a little bit more look at what this multi-channel means and let's go into that a little bit. You can see first of all that we've introduced this topology editor here which is a visual representation of our actual channel setup. If we switch over away from the topology editor you can see in the timeline all of the actual channels and this is how we control them. Each channel has its own timeline. This of course means that you can trigger them, deactivate them, activate them, all that independently from each other. You can see we have an SDI branding channel. Uh, this is going to be the uh, ident up in the upper right hand corner. We have a graphics channel for the SDI. So both of these are separate. These are our screen spaces. On the video wall we have a background and a graphics channel. So the background can be triggered separately and independently. And of course we have a contestant screen and a talent screen, both of which are touch screens. So they're going to have touch capable Venta scenes that are being again triggered independently from each other. One is a small 23 inch, the other is a large 55 inch. So there's going to be very different graphics for each. For each channel that we have here, we can also have individual playlists. We can have individual property editors, individual previews and programs. Each one we can set up, define our interface, put as many or as few in as we want and set up our show so that everything that we need is there ready to go. Another thing that we've done to make this a little bit easier is we've actually set it up so that you can have automatic rules that assign templates to their correct channels automatically. For example, if I'm ready to run a show and I want to just load a background, I'm just going to double click that background and you can see that it automatically placed that background into the right channel. Video wall background and here's background 01. If I now load a second background in there, and trigger that ready to go. I'm triggering the background on my video wall cluster from my laptop right here. If I'm in this kind of a show, I probably want a playlist running through my various backgrounds. You can see here we have a playlist for the video wall background. And I'm just going to queue up the first one, get it ready to play, and it should be ready to go. There we go. Okay, so it's ready to run. I also need to turn off here user interaction and the timeline so that it's not actually listening to this, whatever I'm doing here, it's doing it directly from the playlist. I also have here an SDI branding playlist that's going to run through my iDance and channel things. There we go. Okay, so now that these are deactivated, I now have the rest of my graphics elements ready to be triggered and run. If I look right here at my templates, you can see how I can very easily populate my channels. All I have to do is go in here and let's say, uh, let's talk about a Q&A, sort of the question answer uh, segment. So we've named them here, here appropriately. You could set up our auto filter rules so it automatically filters them out based on keywords. But all I have to do is just drag and drop them into the correct channel. So there I go. And I'm going to set a uh, one for my moderator, my talent here. And then we have the SDI version up here. And of course, I can do that manually right here now. We could also automate that. If I now hit take, what it's going to do is it's going to fire all of those templates at the same time, time frame accurate, on their appropriate channel. So if I look over at my various screens, here we have a question. There we have a question with a background. On my contestant screen, there's a question without the different ones. And you can see there's no actual questions there. Why is that? Well, that's because that's a template. We would actually have to enter the appropriate data with all that. Let's look at that. Every single one has its own appropriate property editor where we can fill the data of the template in. In a live show, maybe it's a lower third, maybe something, you can certainly do that. But in most shows, you're going to actually be running with pre-configured templates. That is, templates with data already entered in it. So let's just take these all off and let's look at what we've done. Is we've just saved actual pages right here which are my questions already pre-populated and the cool part about that is if I double click on that it actually 
because of our rule system, is automatically loading the correct template with the correct data for every single channel. One mouse click, or double click in this case, and I've populated my entire show ready to go. So if I press take now, you can see it's filled out on all screens, the content, and it's ready to go for my next. And I'll just fire it all in here. Okay, so we're ready to go. You can see my beautiful assistant will now select something here. And you can see it activated it on the contestant screen, on air, on the touch screen of the talent, and on screen. And you can see everybody has slightly different content, but they're all synchronized, all being run from here. So to summarize, we have three different concepts of channels. The first one is different screen spaces. So if I'm in an SDI world, for example, I could have a branding box or branding ident up the right hand corner uh, and then a lower third in the lower bottom section of my screen. These could be separate channels and controlled independently. If I do video wall, for example, I could have the left side, the right side and the middle, all as separate channels and controlled independently. The second concept that we're addressing with channels is multiple layers. So I have background, media ground, foreground, as many as I want. I could have many, many different median grounds, many, many different foregrounds. We don't care how many layers, but each one can be a separate channel that you can then be addressing, timing, and triggering separately and independently from each other. The final concept that we're dealing with right here is multiple machines. So in this particular case, we have a machine for the in-studio talent, a machine for the in-studio contestants, and several different other machines. Each one of those could be triggered separately, and that could be an additional independent channel. All of these can be managed from inside of Director. So what we showed you today is the new version of Director 4.05 that's coming out with multi-channel functionality. Of course, we showed you various different combinations of taking clips all at the same time, but you can take each one individually, you can configure your timelines however you want. It's really a flexible, powerful tool for running an entire show from one single seat in a complex environment. So please, download it, you can try it out for yourself, test it out, let us know what you think. If you have questions, please get back to us, we'll be happy to give you more information and a little bit of assistance and help. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.